Chords and Coffee, number 24. Got a great suggestion from my buddy Richard Lawson. Thank you for that. He said, hey, why don't you do one where you show how I link the pentatonic scales up and down the neck? I'm happy to do that. So this is a backing track that is super simple. G major, it's called G major guitar backing track, Waterfalls. And it's just four chords, G, D, E minor, C. So we're gonna start with E minor pentatonic right here. Right? And then we're gonna connect that to this sort of F shape, slid up to the third fret, using that BB box on the fourth fret of the G, and then third, five, third, five of the B and E string. And then from there, let's slide up to the B minor. And then also do a little B, uh, BB box again here on the ninth fret, 8, 10, 8, 10 of the B and E string. But then that C has to go back to that B, just like this G has to go back to this F sharp. It's an F shape on a D chord. And then to E minor pentatonic. Let's do it again. Um, basically, and I'm noodling around there, and not all of that was <laughs> chords and coffee gold, but I will tell you that surely there was a few ideas, and you're like, yeah, I could see that being a thing, and that's all I'm doing, and that's all you, that's all you have to do, really, is just link these different ideas together, so one more time, here's E minor, right here on, uh, you know, third fret of the high E, and then open, and then you know the pentatonic scale down there. And if not, comment below and I'll send you a PDF if you like, okay? And then from there, we go to this F shape on the G chord. And that's got the little BB box in it. And then from there, I just slid up to the B minor. Knowing the F sharp is sort of the danger note, but is it really dangerous? It's not, because if you think about it, over a G chord, it's G major seven. Over that D chord, it's a major third. Over the E minor, it makes E minor nine. And then over the C, it makes that C with the sharp 11 on it, which is really nice. Really pretty, right? So it's not dangerous as much as you kind of have to know how much of that spice to use once you get there. So let's, let's do another one here. So this time, let's go to... I'm just, I typed in G major uh, backing tracks and there's one called Funky Blues Guitar Backing Track. Okay. And we got to wade through an ad here real quick. Um, but this Funky Blues Backing Track, we're going to use a G minor plus a, um, a uh, G major pentatonic scale, right? 
And so let's see this thing. What is this? So this one is a Jam Tracks channel. Looks like that. Funky Blues guitar backing track. Here it comes. So let's use the major because that's a little more major. And I'm going to turn my reverb off. And I'm going to put a slap back on instead of the long delay. major and I'm blending it with the minor pentatonic so here's major and minor kind of blended up together now let's go up here let's try D minor pentatonic minor work over a funky blues thing well because d minor would have if we're thinking about the key of g d would have the five right d minor over g the five the flat seven the one the nine or the second the a note and then the c and that's going to be your danger note or your spicy note right and then back to d and what's nice about that is if we're linking these ideas up together, I've got G major, just like we did before, right? And then G minor. And also that would link with this, this BB box on this B flat shape right here, right? And so then from there to this D minor, and then to this E uh, e minor pentatonic for the major sound. And that, that's a lot of mileage. Let's try that. Some interesting points of interest <laughs> in some of that right so as i'm noodling around and practicing with that i'm trying to um well i'm trying to do two things number one i'm trying to get my hands up and down the neck without feeling like i'm having to jump like i can kind of in a very smooth linear fashion travel up the neck and down and then number two i'm training my ear where some uh different flavors exist so that if I ever find myself in a situation, and here's a real world example, let's say you're playing in a band and you're doing, um, you know, uh, a lot of songs that are ultimately boiled down to blues and key of X, right? I mean, if you're like me, you've probably played in groups where you do like, you know, Superstition and then you do like, uh, or how about uh, uh, Crossroads Blues and A, and then, you know, some other blues in A, and then some other blues in A, basically, right? And they're all kind of different variations of, you know, funky blues or whatever. And you got to have some kind of way to keep that interesting or at least different from the one that you just did, right? Or a bunch of, like, Superstition and um, Play That Funky Music, White Boy, and, you know, like, some of the, you know, the stuff that's, like, basically blues and right? Well... It's nice to have a little decoder ring and say, hey, you know, in this one, I'm just going to stick to the good old tried and true, 
you know, ham and cheese pentatonic. Ain't nothing wrong with it. it. Tastes great. But then on this one over here, I might kind of stretch out a little bit. Prime example, um, when I used to play Superstition in a band, Stevie Wonder song, that boom, dun, dun, bum, bum, ba, dun, when it came time to do the solo, whatever, um, I would, um, instead of playing, I'd, I'd treated it like it was E Dorian, so I would play D major stuff on and it kind of gave it a different flavor, right? So that's a hopefully something that's helpful to you is how to link the pentatonic ideas together, but also you can play more than one pentatonic scale over any given tonal center. In fact, we're just scratching the surface of this. If you like this sort of thing and you're like, okay, Nate, continue to unpack it. What else you got? Comment below. Otherwise, we'll move on to something else. I hope you're having fun with this. We're having fun making them. And I appreciate all your comments. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button. And we'll see you next week for another Chords and Coffee.